Uh, today we're going to talk about pests in our gardens, and I found these this morning, and I saved them so we could look at them. This guys, these guys have eaten, these were tall giant onions, these guys have eaten in one night an entire onion stock. And this guy looks just like my dirt, so we have to check in on our plants, dig around in here, and if you see these guys, you're going to want to use some sort of insect killing soap, which this isn't for caterpillars. You can use a diatomaceous earth, and you can also use sluggo, which sluggo seems to work the best for roly polies and um, snails. I cannot stand to kill a caterpillar, so I usually end up throwing them in the bushes or across the street, and then they come back. But So I'm going to spray some stuff on my plants today, but looking at your plants is very important. So the next pest that I'm having to deal with today is on my eggplant, and these are aphids. And the way that you're going to notice if you have aphids, aphids are kind of colorless. But if you see ants, little tiny black ants, crawling on your plant, that is an indication that you have an aphid problem. The ants are farming the aphids, and the aphids are eating your plant. So we're going to spray soap on this right now. And that will also deter the ants from wanting to be on there. And at the same time, I'm going to pull this flower off and prune this eggplant back because I think it's too small to have a flower yet, especially if we've got an aphid problem. So we're going to wait on allowing that to grow. It's, it's a tiny plant. We're going to let it get a little bigger. Same concept as the tomatoes. So just checking in on your plants and looking at them is the best way to keep from having some sort of problem that you're not aware of. 